So when I grew up, and you know, we'd see these turtles all the time, but you almost never see them beaching like this, just basking in the sun. But apparently because it's been raining, they got a little chilly, so they figured we'd a little sunbathing. Spectacular. That's a nice looking beach. Today was an extraordinary day for me and for the world. Because today, President Obama came to where I am here on Midway Island in the newly expanded Papahanaumokuakea Marine Monument. This is going to be a precious resource for generations to come. Uh, and it's an example of uh, the kind of you know, visionary uh, conservation measures that, uh, although I'm the one who ultimately signs it, reflects the work of a lot of people and a lot of organizations and a lot of participation. Animals come to these places because they're so protected, not because it's easy to get to. So the albatross will have a chick here. We'll go on an 800 mile foraging journey big circle around to get enough food to come back to this island to feed their chicks. You can't do that close to population centers. It's also uh, critically important for us to examine the effects that climate change are taking here in the Pacific Ocean, uh, the world's largest body of water. You know, I look forward to knowing that 20 years from now, 40 years from now, 100 years from now, uh, this is a place where people can still come to and see what uh, a place like this looks like when it's not uh, overcrowded or destroyed by uh, human populations. Where we are in Midway Island represents a turning point in a terrible war, World War II. This place, now a symbol of hope, making peace among ourselves, is a symbol of hope for us to make peace for nature, a turning point in time when we extend our sense of caring out beyond the shore into the sea.